Uh, as Randy mentioned, I'm uh, Mike Archer with Go Randy. And we've got a couple products that we have for accessibility. We have our Captive View device for the captioning and Fidelio for the assisted listening and descriptive narration. As you can see on the screen, our Captive View device, if you are using a Doremi server, you have a USB dongle, which is the antenna. You plug it into the server, you configure the device manager, and you're done with your installation. Uh, it's a very simple, easy to use product and install. Um, in a couple more slides, I'll talk about how you can use Captive View with other servers. Uh, that's the Doremi solution. The Fidelio, as I mentioned, it is for the descriptive narration assisted listening. And the Fidelio, because all we're doing is taking an audio track, it can work with any server in this configuration. Um, so the, uh, as Randy mentioned, the Captive device, it's a seat-mounted uh, captioning display that just receives the transmission wirelessly from the antenna, which I had shown you. Um, the advantage of the, the Wi-Fi which we chose to use is it can reach any uh, seat in the auditorium. You're not going to be potentially limited by any interference of the signal because it is a, uh, a Wi-Fi transmission. Um, we do support uh, all the various packages. You know, there, there's different packages that are created by the studios. Eventually they'll move to Simpty, but um, so we don't have issues with the various formats that may come into the auditorium. And it does support up to six different languages. And as, as Randy mentioned, you know, from a manufacturing standpoint, the key to accessibility was finding a cost-effective solution. And we really believe we did that with the capital view. Um, because as we know, we want to do you know, what we can for the communities. Um, but it has to be at an acceptable price. And we, we found that price point, which is uh, beneficial for us. On the Fidelio system, we use a uh, DEC transmission, it's called. It's actually uh, digital European connection transmission. It is for wireless phones, for instance, use that. So again, we're sticking with wireless communication so that we don't have interference and we have complete coverage in the auditorium. Um, this product, it's a four channel receiver. You can either have four mono channels or two stereo, so it is configurable depending how you set up your auditorium and what content you might have. Um, you know, if any of the exhibitors are successful in lobbying, lobbying the studios, the great thing about some of these devices that are coming out, it's multiple channels. So if you were able to get, for instance, a Spanish dialogue track from a studio, then all of a sudden you have a second language right there in the auditorium to help bring in more patrons. So that is an option with the audio systems as we move to multi-channel solutions. Um, one of the benefits that we see, as Randy mentioned, the, the battery issue, the receivers are uh, rechargeable batteries. There's a, a charging station that you put it in, so you don't have to worry about having devices that are not charged. Um, the other thing that we did when we designed it, we, we sell it with a very inexpensive expensive headset, but it is a standard jack, so the customer can use their own headset the next time they come back. So you don't have to address the sanitary issues um, that you may have to go with changing the foam on the ear pads and such. Um, real quickly, I'm not going through a big setup, but on the Fidelio, you can see there, there's a receiver, that's the charging station. When you put it in the configuration port, it comes up with a channel. You basically push which channel you want. You select the theater number. You can see to confirm the theater and the uh, channel, and it gives you the battery status and you're done. So in less than 30 seconds, your staff can take a device program and, and hand it to the patron. And I mentioned what, uh, what the products that we have that can provide these technologies to non doremi servers. We have the CaptaLink, which you can see on the left. That is a transmitter for the Captive View, and that is used for different servers. So if you have different servers installed in the auditorium, we do give you the option to take the benefits of the Captive View. The Access Link is a product we build, which is a combination of the Captive View transmitter and the Fidelio transmitter. 
So if you're utilizing a non dormy server, the access link will allow you to provide the two very the two different products uh, in the auditorium. Uh, quickly, as we, we look at what's going on uh, in the U.S. and in other parts of the world, um, we have shipped out over 16,000 transmitters for the captive view, which essentially means over 16,000 screens have been uh, equipped with the captive view transmitter. We see installations in the U.S., Canada, Australia, those are the big markets. Um, but we know there's other markets that are opening up and we look forward to those. And on the Fidelio and the access link, we've done just over uh, 11,000. And you know, the interesting thing is from a manufacturing standpoint, when you're looking at the markets and you look at the potential, the Fidelio access link combination uh, was the fastest selling product in the 28 years of Dorami. We got more product out into the field by volume than any other product. So there's definitely a demand out there and it's continuing to grow. And the good thing is, as Randy mentioned, none of us are building perfect products, but there's a price point in the market that we can't exceed to be successful. But as we see the volumes go up, it gives us the ability to go back in and fine tune and use a little R&D money to go back into the market. So we really do thank everybody for uh, you know, accepting the product and installing it and, and getting out to the patrons. You know, we also get, you know, letters and emails almost every day, you know, from people who are using them. So it, it is good to see, and it's really nice to see that they're being utilized. You know, a lot of exhibitors who we speak to this week, you know, they're like, well, we want to put in one or two, nobody's going to use it. That may be the case in some communities, but they are getting used and they're getting used a lot. So hopefully you'll, you'll see the benefit of install, installing the accessibility equipment. And that's it for me. Thank you very much. And as Randy said, we're all on the show floor. So if you want to come see the different technologies and, and ask about uh, specific pricing for your theaters, please come visit the office.